Okay, YouTubers, this is Joe from my channel TV. Another quick, very quick game of inter interplanetary ice spy going on here today. Back in Gale Crater yet again. There's so much to see uh, in this area, honestly. I've been going through some of the older um, souls around the sort of 550, 580 mark. This one in particular is from Sol 580. There's tons of stuff lying around. There are so many things lying on the ground, it's unbelievable. And they're not all just rocks. Most of them are, of course, but. Uh, there's skulls all over the place. There's skulls, and there's fossils, there's weird bits of broken statues everywhere. There's all sorts of artifacts lying around. Most of these are just fragments, tiny fragments of possible things. Uh, and they're too small to determine what they actually are, but some of them are large enough to see some detail. Uh, like, there's a few things here, well, one or two things here in the middle of this image. But the main thing I'm looking at here is up in the top left corner. Now, this particular skull and it does look like a, a skull actually appears in a whole bunch of images it appears in about five or six possibly more uh photographs and it appears on this side on, on on this one and it appears on the opposite side of the picture on others as i'll show you now i'll just quickly show you the folder i've got uh here we go it, it appears in lots of images here's the the main image it's right in the top left corner up here Okay, but it's also in I think some of these others as well. Uh, not that one. <laughs> it's probably in this one here. I think there it is again in the top right corner. And there's there's weird stuff in here as well. There's like lots and lots of very interesting looking rocks here, but most of them are just rocks. Uh, <laughs> when you're identifying skulls, there are a certain number of things that you need to look for. And the main thing to look for, as I show you now, here's a raw clip of it, is the telltale, telltale, uh, sorry, eye sockets here. You have it looks like almost like a pair of glasses. Now on a chimp, and this is possibly a chimp or some other type of ape, or um, primate, I don't know. Uh, they they tend to have not completely human shaped skulls. They tend to be a bit smaller and a bit more pointed and bit more narrow and they have a very large mouth maxilla and and uh, much larger teeth than a, than a human longer teeth well, I appreciate it doesn't look great in this image this is a raw clip and when you zoom into these raw clips they are or raw images they are pretty terrible as you can see very distorted if you get too close that's mainly because it, uh, like I've said before the, the images have been messed with by uh, JPL and they're not really designed to be zoomed in. They are quite small images to start with. It's only a two megapixel camera. And uh, they're not really designed to be zoomed in that far. Um, and basically, they're designed, what they are designed to do is, is to be stitched together into larger panoramic images. Because these are actually quite small. I mean, the, the average file size of these, if you let's have a look, 269 kilobytes, are, are between 2.5 and, and, you know, and about 3.5. 360 sort of uh, kilobytes which is tiny for a photograph compared with even even old digital cameras on your on your phone from years ago but they are designed to be stitched together in large format panoramic images uh, which is what you get on the gigapan of course where Neville T stitches them together for everybody um, let's crack on with it I'm starting to diverse slightly from what I was trying to say here's the here's the main image the raw image and uh, here he is again up there and it, oh, I appreciate that's very distorted so I did some clips I, I'll quickly show you some of the clips I've done uh, to get some detail out of it basically I cleaned up the image uh, I used a bit of Gaussian blur like I normally do radius about 1 1.4 on this one I think uh, then I white balanced it and I've enhanced some of the shadows and that's what we get and you can now see what looks like two large eye sockets, some teeth here, and you can see the, the, the shape of the cranium quite clearly. And there's even what looks like a ridge, a cranial ridge on top of the skull here, and some possible damage here. Okay, uh, now that's not the final enhancement I did, but I didn't do a great deal on it. Uh, it, it. If you get the right amount of Gaussian blur on these images, you can get rid of that choppy, horrible, blocky pixelation crap that they put over it um, so I'll show you let's go back to here I'll show you it a bit a bit more closely 
This is the last one I did. And uh, we don't actually need this raw image now. Uh, let's get rid of that. And here's a chimp skull. Uh, now, if you compare the actual eye sockets here, they're very pronounced and you have very pronounced eye bridge, uh, eyebrow ridges here at the top. And you could, uh, a very pronounced cheekbone here, quite narrow, going right back like this, which looks kind of similar. This is very hi highlighted on here. And I've actually dulled this down. It was much brighter, this image. Um, I've actually had to darken it quite a lot because it was so reflective. The, the bone has obviously been bleached by the sun, so it's been there for a while. Uh, don't know how long. The conditions are different on Mars. And uh, you, you can even see, if you look at the curvature of the maxilla and and t uh, jaw area here, the upper maxilla, there seems to be, he's, his actual lower jaw bone here, the actual uh, mandible seems to be missing or buried. It could be just buried in the sand here. Because they uh, chimps do have very pronounced jaw bones, um, a lot of them, as do humans. They got the, uh, quite the square back to the jaw bone here, as you can see. Uh, but there doesn't seem to be one here. It may well be broken off or buried. Usually, um, jaw bones tend to separate when when uh, an animal dies, and they tend to get broken or separated. Usually when, when humans are found in, in graves, the, the jawbone is broken and usually found nearby, uh, very nearby. So I would expect it to be here. I, I mean, it may actually be there. It just may have a very, very narrow uh, sort of jawbone and a very pointed, um, shallow uh, part to the jawbone here. So don't know because it may be buried in the sand, but you can see what looks like a brow ridge here. I've, I flipped that to negative just because it kind of looks more like that. Um, let's reverse that. There we go. And I'll flip this one to negative. Uh, color of balance and anyone. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Uh, negative. That doesn't really give you a lot, but it does accentuate the the uh, the brow ridge there, which, stick, which is sticking out. And you can also see some more detail here uh, from the nasal cavity. Very similar to this. You can see there's a bone inside it here. You, get, you tend to get lots of very fine bones in here. Um, I mean, of course, the, the nose is largely cartilage and uh, fat tissue. So, but some of that cartilage will survive, and you get you get these sort of like little very very thin wispy bone sort of structures inside the nasal cavity often, if it's a fresh skull. But these very quickly deteriorate. Um, let's, let's flip that back to normal. It doesn't actually look very good like that. Um, but you can see the similarities. Uh, the curvature of the maxilla, this one's quite pointed. This very, this is very pointed here. Um, there looks to be some large teeth, although there's not a great deal of detail to be had there. Um, but there does seem to be some large canines here. Let them go in here. You can see that bright reflection going through there, like you would get here. So it, it does look like a chimp skull. Um, it's not the same. It may not be a chimp. It may be some other type of primate or, or ape but it does look like a chimp uh, so that's what I'm going to call it I'm going to call it a chimp in the title uh, which you probably already know because <laughs> you're already watching the video so um, that's about it for this one there are a few other things in this area just before we go uh, yes yeah, so I will put some more um, chimp and skull clips in at the end and one thing that we must realise here, of course, this is an alien planet, but there may well be lots of very similar creatures there. Um, and if you look at, uh, if you look on uh, Google, you go onto Google and just type in chimp or ape skulls, there are hundreds and hundreds of different types on Earth. Some of them are very small, some of them are quite human looking. Uh, chimps, when they're very young, as, as many creatures do, look very much like humans. But it's not until they get older and when they start developing these huge teeth and brow ridges that they really look much more aggressive and, and powerful. Um, but there are so many types and there's bound to be some that are similar to some of these because they may well have lived in a very similar habitat at some point in the past. There must have been trees nearby, uh, there must have been forest. Uh, but there are also, uh, not chimps, but monkeys that live out on the plains and in the open as well. So 
There are many, many different types, and some of them are bound to match. This does not mean that the rover is on Earth. Just because this looks similar, it's not the same. They may have a very different respiratory system, as I have said before. They may not even breathe oxygen as we know it. They may breathe a very different type of air mixture. So, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you soon.